Okay, this is the last um, calculus question for a prep for the control test. Let's take a look at it. We start off, we're given this cubic function, but we're given it as ax cubed, bx squared, cx minus a. And g of x is minus 4x minus a. You're supposed to see that that's a line. That's a cubic function because, and they give you the graph, so you're looking at it. They even tell you that the y-intercept of both the, um, they're showing you the y-intercept of the line in the cubic equation is minus a. There's a turning point here at 2 and 0, another turning point at b we don't know. Oh, an, an x-intercept of 2 and 0, but an x-intercept of a that we don't know. Okay, let's just get going. Let's just give it a try. Determine the coordinates of A. Well, we look at A, and you have to know, hey, that's an x-intercept. And the easiest thing we've got here is the line. Well, an x-intercept is where y equals 0. So you just let y equal 0. You get minus 4x minus 8 equals 0. You add 8. You divide by 4, and you've got your answer x equals minus 2. Well, you have almost your answer because they asked for the coordinates. So you've got to write minus 2 and 0. Well, now we know that this point here is minus 2 and 0. It's an x-intercept. And this is an x-intercept here that it's turning on here at 2 and 0. Well, then it says show by calculation that a is minus 1, b is 2, and c is 4. And this question would be worth about 6 marks. So let's just try this. Um, I know because it turns on 2 that I put a bracket. You see, you've been given x-intercepts, so put brackets for the x-intercepts. And if I put 2 in here, 2 minus 2 would make y equals 0. It's x minus 2. And if it turns on a point like that, you know it's x minus 2 squared. Now, the other point here is minus 2. So that means the bracket must be x plus 2, always the opposite. Because if I put minus 2 plus 2 in here, it makes y 0. Well, I don't know what a is, but look, they gave me a point of 0 and minus a. And guess what I do with that point of 0 and minus a? I put in y is minus 8, and x is 0. Well, that's minus 2 times minus 2 times 2. That's just 8. Divide by 8, we get the first thing. a is minus 1 for 2 or 3 marks. Well, now that you know a is minus 1, you can put minus 1 back in there. Just multiply it out. Put minus 1 in there. Just multiply it out. x minus 2 times x minus 2, you get x squared minus 4x plus 8. x times x squared is x cubed. Multiply all these out. There's six multiplications. The x squareds combine. You get minus 4x squared plus 2x squared. You'll get minus 2x squared. You'll get minus 4x. 2 times positive 4 will be plus 8. But there's a minus in front, so you make everything negative. And now we're looking at it. A is minus 1. B is 2. And C is 4. Now I've shown that um, uh, the other B and 2. Okay, that's the first video for the first two questions. I hope it helps. I hope it helps. Okay.